Data from the Bank of Ghana over the years shows how mobile money has transformed and continues to transform lives in the country, especially in an era of COVID-19. Between June 2020 and June 2021, active mobile money accounts have risen from 15.5 million to 18.3 million, while the total value of transactions has risen from 45.3 billion Ghana cities to 89 billion Ghana cities within the same period. On the back of the impressive numbers, the Minister for Communication and Digitalization, Eslo Sokufo, has in the past hinted of the possibility of taxing aspects of mobile money to help shore up government's revenue. Also, a few months back, mobile money agents across the country were kicking against a 10% tax they say was being imposed on their earnings by the government. Speaking at the 18th Knowledge Forum organized by the Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications, the head of research and communications at the chamber, Derek Lai, opined that taxing any aspect of mobile money now will be counterproductive. The point about uh, taxes on mobile money, I, I'm one of those people, this is my personal position, which is that mobile money in and of itself currently for me is still a very baby service. It's at this nascent stage. And I say that because you're looking at active users. Today, active users are 17 million. But what is the total, what is the addressable market? If you want to tax the service, look at it from that perspective and ask yourself that if you look at the addressable market, you look at the people that have been rolled into the service, you're, you, you've not even taxed it, you're getting 215 million. How about if you move from 17 million active to maybe 28 million? That's also new revenue that will definitely hit the kitty. So rather than doing, trying to, and we talked about the production rather than taxation angle of uh, this conversation. So rather than go direct, how about allowing the market itself to play out its efficiency and, pr and profitability and productivity to be able to then give you returns uh, that, that you least would have been able to actually get if you had gone in with a direct tax and basically hamper consumption and usage in the long run. So for us, we think that as a chamber, I, I can boldly say that we think that this is not the time to actually discuss direct taxation of mobile money because it doesn't happen anywhere. On his part, however, the CEO of the Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications, Kenneth Ashigbe, noted that mobile money is already being taxed. They were saying that mobile money currently as it is, is taxed. There are various ways in which it's taxed. So there's CIT, uh, Corporate Income Tax, that is paid. The agents and merchants who are involved in it pay withholding taxes on the commissions that they earn. By virtue of the fact that you have mobile money running, there are businesses that are are there because of that and they also are paying taxes so we fundamentally agree with government's pol policy of production rather than taxing so we definitely think that taxing mobile money directly is like taxing the cash in your pocket the money that i have already made you know that i have paid my taxes on if i decide to now send that and then you are going to tax it that will be taxing the cash itself we should tax the activity that happens at the end of it. So that's, that's our firm position. And we believe that that would inure to our benefit.